Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth who may look like the heathen nations and to the very few sisters that listen and learn to you shalom all right for the new listeners yahweh is the true hebrew name of the heavenly father bahashem means in the name yahweh shai is the true hebrew name of his only begotten son our lord and savior who the world ignorantly calls jesus and rechak wadash is the spirit holy which is the holy spirit I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Muslim Chicago. And um, I'm going to pick off with uh, somewhat of a topic that I uh, was going into yesterday where I was watching um, these um, Muslim dudes all right, trying to debunk, from trying to pretty much, trying to say that the scriptures is uh, flawed, all right? All right, for one, uh, they were going into Ezekiel 26 when it's talking about uh, uh, the, the Dan, I believe it's the Dan, um, was uh, prophesied to never be built up again. All right, and then um, they were going into uh, how uh, Yahweh Shai didn't want to didn't want to get uh, crucified. All right, he wasn't supposed. He wasn't supposed to because I think it was John 7 and John 17. They said that um, he has finished his works or, you know, they were just they were just cherry picking scriptures without understanding. So now what what um, I was doing was I was asking I was because um, I was in the comment section. I was asking, what is the name of your God? What is his name? And they said, obviously, Allah. Right. Which Allah just means most high God. All right. So then I was like, is that the same God that's in the Holy Bible? The same God of Abraham. And he was like, because obviously they go through Abraham and Ishmael. So I was like, you know, is it the same God as Abraham? He said, yes. I'm like, so then what is his name? All right. What is his name? So there goes one point right there. So then if it's the same God of the Bible, the Holy Bible, which came way before the Quran, then if things are flawed in the scriptures, then the, the Quran is null and void. It has, it has, for one, it has nothing to do with the, the most high God because the promises went to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, not Ishmael. Now Ishmael was put away. All right. It goes into Romans nine, the servant uh, or the, the child from the bond woman and the child from the free woman, which um, the promises was given to the, 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 the child of the free woman, which was Isaac. And then they later on passed down to Jacob, which his name became Israel. And you guess where you get the tribes of Israel from. All right. But um, so um, they were saying. Um, pretty much that Muhammad was the, the the last true prophet so I posted up the uh, Psalms 147 and 19 he showed this word unto Jacob his laws and statutes unto Israel he have not dealt so with any nation and as far as his judgments they have not known them praise ye Yahweh so with that being said then uh, Muhammad Muhammad is a fraud then all right he would he would be a fraud because as the scripture as the scripture um, in Psalms that I quoted, he's only dealing with the Israelites. He's not dealing with any other nation. All right. Um, Joel, the second chapter says, I am in the midst of Israel and I am the Lord God, your power. I am Yahweh, your power and none else. All right. So how is it that Yahweh was dealing with his chosen people, but then all of a sudden he changed his mind and goes to some Ishmaelites. No, it don't work like that at all. All right. Um, not only that, but we can use the account of uh, uh, Balaam. All right. Uh, 
Balaam. You had uh, in the book of Numbers, it's a uh, Balak, which was I think he was like a, a Ammonite or a Moabite king, and uh, he uh, he wanted to curse Israel, so he went to a, a pretty much a, a witch or the sorcerer uh, Balaam to go curse the children of Israel. So then when uh, the Lord the Lord revealed to him, is the Lord will show a, a heathen, you know. Uh, visions and stuff doesn't mean that they're chosen but he's seen the end of Israel all right he's seen the uh, the blessings that were gonna come upon the children of Israel and Malam was like I wish I wish I could be an Israelite roughly paraphrasing all right because he's seeing the glory that we're gonna receive and he understood that he's not going to be he's not gonna take part of that as a matter of fact, it's, it's, it says that it's, it goes into him saying that I was standing afar off. All right, so they, they're not going to be nowhere near or have anything to do with, a, or with our blessing. Okay? And the dude was like, oh, uh, uh, Ishmael was blessed. Did, did not Allah bless Ishmael? Which he was Allah referring to Yahweh. Well, yeah, of course. Yeah, God, Yahweh did bless uh, Ishmael. You know who else he blessed? He blessed Esau, Edom, the, the uh, self-proclaimed white race of people, the devil the Bible speaks about. He blessed them, the wicked, with the sword. All right, so, hey, the, the Bible talks about he maketh it rain on the just and the unjust. So, and, hey, the Lord blesses everybody. He's, he, that's how he operates, okay? So, yeah, Ishmael did get blessed, but ultimately what? There was no promises given to him. All right, it was only given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And uh, and then they were talking about you. Uh, you need to read out of the Quran because the Quran like finishes the Bible or something. Which that has that's completely false. Because when you read in Ecclesiastes, the twelfth chapter, it says, "Be not admonished of many books." All right, because of much studiness and weariness of the flesh, we don't need to go into all these books there's millions hundreds of millions of books we only need one book as it says in isaiah it says what seek ye out of the book of yahweh and read none of these shall fail none shall want her mate so the bible is the book of the lord the holy bible okay is the, the book of yahweh okay and it also um said uh none shall want her mate meaning can't combine the Holy Bible with other books. It stands on its own. Okay, it don't. It don't need. Yeah, we will. We'll go into a certain um, books like uh, who is Esau, Edom, and Tim, uh, from Timbuk. Um, uh, can't think of the name right now. It's like from Timbuk to uh, by Rudolf Winsler. You know, certain books like that that would that approve a point that we're making from the Bible. But for us to go into other books to prophesy out of, no, we don't need any other book. We already we got what we need. Okay, and uh, Islam didn't come until uh, way after, during like the time of uh, uh, Constantine. You know, that was way, way after uh, um, the prophecies that were written in the Old Testament, and um, you know, you had. Uh, how Shai had already came, etc. So there, there was no need for uh, that's um, that's Ishmael's um, doctrine. You know, that's the stuff they go off of. That has nothing to do with us. All right, and there's no, there's no other book to combine with the Bible. It stands on its own. So again, if the Bible was flawed, like these guys are saying, oh well, yeah, how? It sounds like Jesus didn't want to go on the cross because he was saying, why has God forsaken me? And if there's another way, whatever, whatever, without them understanding that he still fulfilled the prophecy that was written. All right. In the in the scriptures of him being uh, sacrificed, you know, it doesn't change the fact that he still did it. All right. We all uh, you you try to, um, you know, in the back of your mind, if you're on in on earth, oh, I'm going to die tomorrow. You know, you'll be you'll be feeling some type of way. You know, the same thing with, with our Lord and Savior Howard Shai. He was in the he was at the lowest that he was at at the at that time. 
all right knowing that he's about to die you knowing that he's about to go to, and uh, he's about to suffer etc all right who wouldn't feel like that who wouldn't uh ask man can we do this some other way but ultimately he said what your will be done and that was the will of the heavenly father all right so yeah so like look if if the bible was flawed like these guys say then then the quran will be flawed because the same god that comes from the holy bible i mean from the quran is the same god from the holy bible which will make your which will make the the quran uh flawed which it already is it's a it's pretty much um plagiarism you know for the, for the most part they just copied a, a, a bunch of our laws and stuff and added their own shit in there hey as a matter of fact scriptures say add not unto his word and don't take away from it then it's for you for these guys and for anybody else to say the quran is like the the, the um the uh the book of god and that that's what we're supposed to be going off of then you're adding to his word because his word was already um his word was already written all right before that that was established the quran was established and written out and whatever you know so by you doing that you're adding to the to the word of god which it says not to do that all right so if you want to hop into something real quick head in the camp right now you how willing this is an edifying lesson. Till next time, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shimmy, Yahweh, Shai. Till next time, Shalom.